Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got another awesome battery review video for you today. So let's turn the lights on and get started. So today's battery is a Go Kilowatt Hour brand, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, lithium iron phosphate. This is the Bluetooth model. This battery is supposedly equipped with a 100 amp smart BMS capable of 1280 watts of load. You can monitor, data log, remote transmission all from the Bluetooth app with this battery. So that's pretty interesting. I put this battery through some paces, through some tests so far. It's done everything I asked it to do, but I've got some questions about this battery. The manufacturer claims thermal management on this. Now they don't specify whether it's high or low temp or what's in this thing. And also on some of the information from the manufacturer, they claim pouch cells in one slide or one listing and then prismatic cells in the other. So today, instead of doing all the different tests, I'm just gonna go straight for the teardown on this Go Kilowatt Hour. I'm very curious to see how this unit is built and what's lurking inside the case. So getting into these batteries and checking them out does not take very much time if you've got the right tools and the know-how, but this one should be exceptionally easy. It looks like we just got a number of screws around the perimeter of the lid on the casing so i'll be able to pop these little caps off should be able to unscrew it just literally probably 30 seconds to get into this one now that didn't take too long at all and i did it let's crack it open see what it looks like Spin it around for you here. Yeah, it looks like pouch cells. So the wiring on this, the terminals are tight, hydraulically crimped connections. This is a number six, 200 degree jacketed for the positive. And then the negative has two number eight, 200 degree jacketed wires. So nice, they've got Loctite on the bolts it looks like, but no Loctite between the terminal and the contact pad for the pass through, so that's nice. So that should keep everything nice and tight, nothing loose. Good, let me break it down a little further for you. Let me get you one more shot of this battery before I take it apart in its factory condition. Lots of high density foam all over this unit. It is wedged in there, that foam is tucked in tight. The BMS is sitting down here on the side protected by all this foam. So it's got a nice thick cushion between the cell pack and the side of the case. So you shouldn't have any damage even if this was take a drop or a hit. Got foam everywhere, very nice to see this. And these were probably the tightest connections I've seen so far on a battery. Uh, these were very tight. Here's your shot of the cell pack as it come out of the case, minus a couple pieces of foam where I pulled it out, but all these connections are tight. The connections on the BMS are tight, and we have a thermal sensor coming down to the side of the cell pack, which is nice to see. So maybe the thermal management includes low temp cutoff. So we'll test all that here in just a minute. Let me break it down a little further and find some more information on this BMS. Hold the phone, ladies and gentlemen. Look what I found right here. All right, you see this epoxy board, there's nothing stuck to it. Now look at these pouch cells. Look at all this junk stuck to them. I think we have repurposed cells or used cells. Looks like they were glued into the bottom of a different battery and ripped out because that is a two-sided tape adhesive right there that's been stuck to something and pulled off. And, uh, you know, the cells are kind of bent and wrinkled a little bit. If they were supposedly new pouch cells, I wouldn't think we'd see deformation on the ends like they've been mashed and beat on. So uh, let me zoom you in. There's even dirt and filth down in here inside this pack. Look at all the dust and filth in there. Look at that. Just filth. Filth and dust all in there. So that leads me to believe these are repurposed uh, cell packs. Here's another shot right here. It's got some old used ceiling or something on here where it was ripped out of something else it appears. Try to get you a good shot of that. See, you can see all the ceiling, all the little bent spots and stuff in it right there. See all that tape? It's all wrinkled up on the cells. So that's interesting to find. I was not expecting that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a prime reason why I tear these batteries down. You almost have to tear these down nowadays. This is the second battery within a couple of weeks that has had an issue that's inside that you would have never known about unless I tore the battery apart. Look under this tape right here. Look right here. You see that crud under that tape? Look at this. Look right here. That is copper shavings. That is right, folks. Copper shavings and direct contact with the pouch cell. 
Now tell me, how do you get copper? Look at all that. That's copper shavings all up and down in there. Let me zoom you in. Look at that. That is copper shavings in the tape. And look, copper shavings everywhere inside this battery. Look at all that. That would get, make you have a bad day. So this test is over. That's why I tear them down. Hope y'all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a nice day and be safe. This one's a fail.